this is another reminder or notes about using QTVLM. And I want to just uh, uh, review uh, setting a mark at a desired location and then measuring range and bearing. And uh, so let's start out with one, and it's related to our course uh, because we always start out with a known position. And so here's a case where there's exercise one or something, lesson one. And we want to start at this particular location and we want to start with a mark there. Now, I happen to be here down in uh, Paololo Channel in Hawaii, but let's go directly to that point with this uh, trick. So let's just right click and say new mark and let's call it uh, lesson one. Lesson one. And now we want to go back and put in where we want to go. So I'm going to highlight this down here and say right click copy. Now I'm coming up here and there's various ways to paste this in here, but I want to suggest doing it one way and always do it that way. Click in the field. Now, okay, note here, there's two ways to do this. This is 21 degree, that's Hawaii, of course. 21 degree, this is degrees and minutes, and this over here is a decimal. And we're dealing now in decimal degrees. And in the course and in practice of life, you will often have occasion to bounce in and out between those two sets of units. Um, most often it'll be degrees and minutes, but you want to go to decimal once in a while. But anyway, so here's a trick here. I just put it in there, I click in that field, right click and say select all, and then right click and paste. Now there's various ways, again, there's various ways to do that, but that's going to be the safest. It'll save you time in the long run. Now I want this for the longitude, and remember a Western longitudes in a, in a digital, in a decimal format are negative numbers, so I'm going to copy that. That comes up here. I right, cl I, I, I click it once, I right click, I select all, then I right click and I paste. And then there it is. Let me just go ahead and lock it. And I've got a name. And that's it. So I've pasted the mark. So the mark's presumably up there in the Pacific Northwest where we do our training charts. And, uh, but I'm not there. So now what I would do is look at, the, uh, look at all the marks. And I can do that. I'm on a Mac. It's Command-M is the key. That would probably be Control-M on a PC. And then here's Lesson 1. Lesson 1 mark I just made. And then I can center on it. Okay, so bang. So we've done that, and now I've placed that mark where I want to, and I got there from uh, Timbuktu or something. And uh, then you can double check if you with the state with the status bar down here, you can double check that it's like 4811 and 163.05. Yeah. So that that's the right uh, th that's one way to do that. Now there's just one other one other step before we leave the marks. Let's just say I want to archive. I want to save this mark. So I could go back to the marks menu, Command M. That would be Control M. And let's highlight this lesson one and just say archives. Now, um, I would say new archives and then just maybe make a new archive called lessons, right? And say, OK. Now, I only had one highlighted in the last step, so I just say paste and say that's OK. So it's in there now. You see, lesson one is in there. OK. So in that case, I could even delete this at some point if I don't need to go there. OK. So that's then um, we made a mark um, uh, from a strange place uh, in exactly where we wanted it, and we also uh, archived it. OK. So that's that exercise. Now, the next thing I want to look at is measuring some distances. Let's go over here. Let me zoom in a little bit over here. And um, let's see where I just want some random place to measure. OK, so let me go measure from here, from this tip of this point down to this uh, uh, Isolate a danger symbol. Okay, so there's one, okay, there's a couple ways to do that. I can right click here. I'm not measuring range and distance between two points on the chart. So I right click and say uh, ruler tool. And there's the ruler tool, and I bring it down here. And I'm getting, what am I getting there? 1.49 miles, and it's in direction 226 true. 226 true, uh, and it's 149. And so escape, that's done. That's one way to do it. Number two way to do it is I could use this, uh, this button up here. That's, the, that's a regional select button. And then I can just select this region like this. 
over to here, and it's going to then, you see I can read down in the status bar 1.5 at 226, or I can just let it go and then read it up here, 1.5 with a tool, what's called tool tip, uh, 1.5 1, 1 degrees at 226 uh, degrees, 1.5 1, 1 nautical mile 226. Now I can get rid of that by either clicking this button or just hitting the escape key. Now another way to do that it's another way that's the same as this button is just hold the shift key down, the shift key down, and then drag yourself like that. And the shift key is just uh, just the same as putting that button up there. Okay, that's the same way. All right, so that's another way to do it. The other way we can do it is we can make a pathway. So let's do that. I go up here, make a pathway, uh, create a pathway. Um and give it any name, it, the name doesn't matter here, uh, and then I'm going to append POIs here. So then you just click here, click at the start point, right, and then click somewhere down where you want to go, and then say escape, you're done. Now grab this guy, oh, he's red, uh, okay, now he's blue, I can move it. Uh, there's a way to make that a lot easier. Okay, and then you can just drag this down there and you see it's 1.5 nautical miles at 226. This has the virtual you can then sniff around. You know, this is the easiest method if you just want to sniff around and ra read ranges, things like that. Escape, and then you can just uh, delete it. Uh, wait a minute, it's a... Edit the pathway, delete the pathway, okay. Oh, now here's another trick. I deleted the pathway, but uh, there were two marks I was playing with. So now what you can do is I'm going to do Shift-Drag again, like this, and now I'm going to right-click and delete all the marks. Oh, okay, all the marks. Okay, that's that. Now one other, one last point here to make. Suppose you wanted to enter some place like Squim Bay here, and you want to know the total distance of a path, not just a, not just a straight line. Now that's going to obviously be a pathway. Let's create a pathway again. The name doesn't matter. Um, like that, SSS, now append the POIs, and then just, let's say you're starting here, and that's the first one, and then red, right, okay. Um, red, right, returning, don't I wanna come in here and then come along here, and then um, red, right, returning, so I better go in here and then come down in here and then come here, okay. When we're, when we're done, then, we can just put the cursor on here. And then what do we see? We see that the total trip is 3.3 nautical miles. 3.3 nautical miles slash 2.2. Now, what the 2.2 is, that's a distance if I went straight A to B, from here to here. So the distance made good is 2.2 from here to here. But on this, the total trip was 3.3. The last leg was 0.66 in direction 113. Up here, the first leg, the first leg was one leg of leg one of seven legs, 1.2 nautical miles in direction 228. Okay, so that's various ways to measure um, ranges and bearings, and I'll stop there.